is the paradise of films. We're coming to you live from paradise of films. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was so melodic. Like being melodic is the name of my favorite stripper. <laughs> and she doesn't work anymore. She fired. No, she died. She died. How'd she mm -hmm. die? She died doing what she loved doing, Cocaine. dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is the final episode of the gay boys the gay p boys uh the final is done month it's yeah been canceled it's getting canceled is this this month was too gay we had yeah. to get rid of it and you did it you accomplished you knew what you were getting into and right. you knew people were not gonna like it yep and you i have lost every co-host that i had this month. you accomplished it was kevin good job man yeah yeah um and uh and we're still doing this giveaway. If you, uh, it's just, it's a, you just leave a comment on this episode, the last three episodes, and uh, you get a hundred dollars or a pair. Of, you you enter the chance to win the, a t-shirt and a hundred dollars. Kevin, did you do that? Did you enter the contest? Uh not yet. But I'm gonna uh, also keep some of some money for my part. Oh, so you're gonna? Yeah. So it's gonna be a hundred dollars plus 25 cents okay that's that's my part okay there yeah you go. so it's pretty good right yeah yeah that's your stake in parody so films is mm. 25 cents, <laughs> 25 cents yeah. yeah my podcast has, hasn't still come out so yep. you know i'm not fully and haven't inked the contract yet sure. so once i do that maybe i'll do 50 cents oh yeah big money <laughs> yeah you can look forward to it if you leave a comment you might you one lucky person might win a hundred dollars and 25 cents and a t-shirt so, I mean, that's, that's, I gotta say, that's a pretty good prize. I don't know any other podcast that is doing that giveaway. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's a strong giveaway. It is pretty strong. Yeah. You know, that's a hundred dollars. That could save someone's life. It could. That I, could. I need a hundred dollars. If you donate that to the Gaza fund, then, you know, that'll change a whole family's life. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, we're here to talk about the movie The Whale. You've seen it. It's about a fat gay guy. That's why it's gay, yeah. gay month. The Whale. The Whale. Or as they call it in Ireland, The Wheel. The Wheel? The Wheel. Why do they call it that? Just because, you know, it's Irish. They're Irish. Yeah. Where there's a whale, there's a way. Yeah. Yeah. That is some wisdom from, some Chaldean wisdom. Some Chaldean, that's some old old school Chaldean wisdom from <laughs> Chaldea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, oh, dude. dude. This night sucks so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've had every person who was going to come here tonight cancel on us. Well, it's okay. It's better when it's just me and you, dog. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that, you know. That is true. Yeah. I, mean, I yeah. thought that I was going to be late. You haven't, you had a, you were on the phone. You, I looked in here. There was nobody here. I was like, yeah. do you like, was this a trap? Yeah. <laughs> to get me to come here? I kill you. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. First, you were here yesterday and the power went out in the middle of your recording. Yeah. I'd say like, I looked at my record. I looked at the recorder, record. and apparently only got forty eight minutes. I feel like we were recording for a long. You guys were recording for way long. I don't know what happened. I mean, I, I have, after I realized the power went out, I put the batteries in the recorder, yeah. and then I recorded like another five but minutes. But even before the power went out, you were going for more than forty. Yeah, minutes. so I don't know what happened to the other part. Um, I guess uh, maybe I'm looking at it. Maybe I, had, I didn't look at it. Uh, well, maybe you were well looking enough. at it subjectively and not objectively. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know? I don't, I don't know what that means, but yeah, maybe like the subjective of your podcast was only like forty-five minutes, but then objectively, it fell longer. Yeah, which I think that's a good thing. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're gonna talk about the well. What you are we gonna talk about? Better microphone stand than me. What is that? You have a better microphone stand than me. yours. Like, go, can go up. Is yours can, for yeah. stand up or is yours? <laughs> it's for stand up. Yeah. It's for fucking midget stand up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's for mm -hmm. who's who's a midget uh i can't think is there any midget yeah uh brad williams oh yeah brad williams mm -hmm. that's the only one i know yeah and then maybe that guy from seinfeld i don't know if he was a stand-up comedian oh yeah the little uh, mm -hmm. uh kramer's little buddy yes yeah i don't know if he was a stand-up um i feel like there's a local person who's like really short 
But I can't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the whale. The whale. There were not any little people in the whale, right? Yeah. That I remember. I mean, there was a, like a little boy. Mm -hmm. He was. I guess he was like a teenage boy. Yeah, the Mormon. Yeah. Was he Mormon? I don't know if he was Mormon or if he was like evangelical or something. Yeah, like that. he was something. He was. Uh, he loved. He loved uh, Jesus. Jesus a lot. Yeah. And he really cared about the whale. He cared about the whale. Uh, he walked in on him jerking off to gay porn. Mm -hmm. That was a funny scene. Did you going into the whale? Did you know that he was gay? No, I didn't know anything about the movie. I didn't even really. watch the trailer. Uh, oh, I was seeing I was guys. seeing a girl at this time, and I was like, "Hey, would you like to go see the whale?" And she was like, "Yeah, I've heard good things about it." Yeah, and I. This movie was it was uncomfortable for me, because um, you were formerly a six hundred pound man. I was, yeah, yes, I was, and guy. I've been jumping rope uh, since I was sixteen years right. old, and I lost all that weight. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, I there was a, there was a lot of things uh, from that movie that I that I went through too personally. Yeah, sure, I bu I believe it. Mm hmm. And uh, it was, uh, I don't know, I feel like it is, uh, what's his name, Dar Dar Darren Aronofsky. Ar Aronofsky. Yeah. I've only seen The Wrestler. Okay. Um, and The Wrestler ended with uh, The Wrestler jumping from the, the third, uh, yeah. yeah, and then it just, I don't know, it, it just got too bright and then that's, that was the end. Yeah. And the well also ended that way. Yeah, that's true. Uh, have you seen any other films by him? I've seen Mother. How did that one end? That ends with uh, the house burning down and then Javier Bardem rebuilds the house and then he has a new wife. Okay, so there wasn't a similar ending to there the other. There wasn't someone jumping into the light. No. <laughs> yeah, or like, so, like the maybe, light yeah, that's Maybe that's Darren Aronofsky's thing. Is like all his movies yeah, that's his trademark. Yeah, it's just jumping into the light jumping into the light there's something about it but what else about the or the world man what else do you want to talk about the world i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i haven't watched it since it came out yeah yeah you just wanted to do a podcast about the world yeah i just thought it was funny i don't know yeah it was it was like a sad movie but it was like kind of funny like you know yeah sometimes i i went into it like that way and then i was like oh no this is uh it's too much yeah yeah, it was pretty sad. I felt bad for him. He he just wanted to go be gay, and he didn't want to have have to deal with his daughter and mm -hmm. you know, his bitch ex wife. Yeah, tough life, huh? Fucking yeah. That was a tough. Wasn't there something like uh, the uh, there was also the nurse that yeah, she would the, come and check on him, um, and Hong Cho. and turns turned out that that was his sister in law. Yeah, that was uh, his boy, his dad boyfriend's mm -hmm. sister. And then that boyfriend was related to the uh, the, church. the the religious guy, right? Well, he wasn't related to him. They were both in the same church. Like, okay. The boy was a missionary for the same church that his boyfriend was a missionary for. Mm. And then he, I think he killed himself because he was gay. The well? No, the boyfriend. Oh. You know how gays do that sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Am I? Is it? Is that? What? Someone trying to get in here. Maybe. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time. I don't know. Maybe that's the other one. Maybe that's the whale. <laughs> yeah, that's the whale trying to come in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> we can talk about other things. No, we can talk about the whale. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything else to talk about the Not whale, man. Why. Yeah. We, yeah. I think uh, we kind of... You want to start... What? You want to start, you know start this over and like be real, talk about shit. Let's be real. Let's talk about shit. I'm not gonna start it over. Oh okay. Start, like, oh shit. At this point, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's let's get real, Kevin. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Mm -hmm. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Yeah, I don't really care about the whale, man. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. How, of how's this it been? Movie how's thing. it been? Yeah. How's this it been movie making? Thing is it's it's such a it's it's we're i was doing these movie podcasts as a way to clickbait people into watching they don't give a podcast. shit they don't give a shit dude <laughs> but nobody watch but nobody wants to watch a fucking podcast on ish talk nobody wants to watch even the movie dude. <laughs> no <laughs> 
People don't want to watch movies anymore, man. Yeah, I know. And you're like over here, you're like, I'm going to talk about movies. Yeah, but like, we don't give a, a fuck. It's an old medium. You know? <laughs> we don't give a fuck, dude. It's like you're talking about a newspaper or something. Yeah. It's like care. I'm talking about Zeppelins. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like about this We should talk about Zeppelins, man. Zeppelins are fun. What's your favorite Zeppelin? Uh, Led Zeppelin, for Led, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is my favorite. What's that one? The Hindenburg? Is that the one that exploded? That's the one that burned down, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I think those are the only two that I know. Lead and the Hindenburg? And the Hindenburg. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. And I mean, the blimps. Is that like, there's the, the Goodyear blimp, but that's not, is that a Zeppelin? Uh, I don't know. You, that's uh, <laughs> What's the difference between a blimp and a Zeppelin? I think they're the same. I don't yeah, know. I think so. Open up your MacBook and look it up. I can do that. We should have that open, dude. <laughs> we need a Jamie. <laughs> We need a Jamie, yeah. Yeah. Who do you think would make a good Jamie? Uh, we don't Nick. know the same people, so yeah. it would be kind of hard. To I think Nick would be, would be a good Jamie. Nicholas? Nicholas. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, he would be, be good. good at anything. No, he'll be good. <laughs> That's a... Yeah. He'll be nice at it. Yeah. He'd he, be good. If if we wanted a Jamie who was drunk all the time and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I and mean that's a fun Jamie. Bombed on stage every night. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's a good guy. <laughs> so you're drinking Propel water today? Yeah, Propel water, mm -hmm. my least favorite flavor. Yeah, is that actually right. Propel water or is that tap water? No, this is Propel water. You okay. Taste? No, I got my tap water, my yeah. essential tap water over here. It looks essential. Yeah. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. What do you want? What do you want to talk about? The brass stacks. The brass stacks. The down uh, stack. <laughs> Let's talk about the NASDAQ. Let's talk about the markets, Kevin. Yeah. We're at a business table. We have to talk business. Mm -hmm. Do you look you at it? Do you look markets? at the... Uh, I do you used look to. At, yeah. Yeah. You, you used to look at the app? I used to look at the app and try to understand Which app? it. Robinhood? Uh, or no, the stocks app? Yeah, the, 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 the Apple one that it comes... Yeah. It's already included here. Yeah, the stocks. Let me see. Oh, see, I haven't... <laughs> first time yeah, yeah, in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, who's up? The NASDAQ is up. The Dow yeah. Jones is up. Yeah. But look, what about the S&P? Where's the S&P? What is that? The Apple <laughs> stock? Yeah. Is that? Oh, is that? Oh, it is. Apple's down. This is live. So stock why reading. why are these like, do you know anything about this? Yeah. About the stocks? Yeah. So these are like the uh, the most popular ones? The NASDAQ? <laughs> NASDAQ the, isn't a stock. No? What it's is it? It's an exchange. It? Oh, okay. What about the uh, YNSE? The what? The second one. What you why it's that's N Y S E. You said Y N S E. Yeah. You're dyslexic. That's also yep. a stock exchange. That's mm. a New York stock okay. exchange. The Dow Jones is also a stock exchange. Yep. And Apple, that's a stock. Yeah. Starbucks. That's a stock exchange. Nike. AT and T and T Mobile. So those are the most popular ones? I don't think those are the most popular ones. That's probably just the ones that have had the most movement today. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Are you invested in anything? <laughs> no, dude. No. When I got out of high school, uh, my psychology teacher told us about this uh, app called... Robinhood? Mm, no. I, I don't know if it was... Acorn. Oh, Acorn. Acorn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can invest like sh uh, change. Yeah, Acorn's like a, kind of stupid. It's like I don't, I don't, I, I know that I was putting my all my change there, and yeah. I wasn't getting anything. I was like, I need that change. I need, yeah, <laughs> I need one dollar and twenty five cents. Yeah, I mean, like investing in like stocks and shit like that. It's not really a short term. Like, no, it's not. You know, I thought I was gonna be a millionaire by yeah. putting a dollar and twenty five. Like if I put ten cents into my Acorn app every day, by the time I'm thirty, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Is that really? No, I don't you know. might have like what, like five hundred dollars, maybe. 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 Yeah. Good day. It yeah. I don't know. Office. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not good with money, man. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's evident. Yeah. Are you? Uh, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do your parents like teach you? No, but I worked in a uh, finance for two years. So I. Doing what? I was a financial analyst. Really? Yeah. So you had like computer screens? Like how many computer screens do you have? I just had one like extra big one. Wow. And yeah. you were just looking at like green bars and no, red bars. <laughs> how how was being a uh, finan financial an analyst? Analyst. Mm -hmm. what, what, was the, uh, what was the day in the life of financial analyst? <laughs> Go to work, uh, sit down um, for four hours and then leave. Go to Big B 
edit videos for 30 minutes and then go back and then sit down for another four hours and then leave. So only 30 minutes was fun <laughs> of all that was, Yeah, I had a good 30 minutes every day. Uh, you hated it, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it was like, it was one of those things. Um, uh, it's just fucking like, I was good at it. So that's why they hired me. But it was really boring and uh, not. What made you good at it? I was just good at it. I was just, I was good at uh, being told. Being to an analyst. And then doing something. Yeah. Yeah. They were always, what would they tell you? They were like, hey, go analyze. Uh, they'd say, go analyze this. The finances. Say, I gotcha. And then I'd <laughs> analyze it. And they'd yeah. say, good job analyzing. How will you analyze it? I don't... I don't know, just pull up reports and shit. And you're just like looking at reports and you're just putting stuff together. And then you're updating numbers and then you're looking up prices and then you're changing numbers. And I don't know. I mean, it's a cool job for people who like that. Yeah. Do you like, I mean, you don't like finance. So you probably wouldn't. Like I don't like job. finance. I don't like, I don't like anything, man. I yeah. like comedy. That's it. And yeah. even that sometimes Fair. I'm like, I don't like this do fucking anything. sucks. Yeah. 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 It's really, I got to stop being lazy, man. Yeah. And find something I really, really like. Yeah. You got to like finance. <laughs> yeah. Finance. Is, I would not be able to do that for a long time. Or even, yeah, I, mean, or even, I, I wasn't or even, able to do it. I did yeah. it for two years, and I was like, "This is fucking boring." <laughs> How old were you when you started doing that? Uh, uh, I don't even remember. I, however old I was in 2022. Okay, yeah. The that's why I disappeared for a while because I was like, I analyzing was deep and I was deep in work. I was, you know, mm -hmm. analyzing all day, and I was, and then I went to New York, and I had to analyze in New York, and uh, and oh, you were working in New York, barely. Like, I, like it was just a like where were you in new york like were you in like the uh wall street mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. damn dude but it was like barely i i it was it wasn't yeah. like a real thing how was it how was being in wall street for how the how it's pretty sick i guess really <laughs> I, yeah i liked it a lot My, uh it was uh it was one of those things you were you know you you just walk around and everybody's so important and everybody's so cool. yeah everybody's carrying a briefcase everybody's got a briefcase <laughs> they everybody's got crackers got like a nice suit on yeah they just got crackers in the briefcase they got crackers <laughs> they got fucking you know uh adderall and that's kind of that's how you move man that's how you carry yourself you're like yeah. you don't have a briefcase but you no. will fit right in there with those guys i i did fit in with those guys but i had to come back to the troy office mm -hmm. and, uh where people were wearing golf polos and um sitting in a room a hot room all day yeah with uh those uh what do you call those uh luminescent lights yeah yeah like, lights yeah. yeah dude i hate i still lights. have what goldman sachs yeah that's who you work for yeah damn they're a big company huh yeah i always hear about them it's an investing company right yeah all right uh -huh. So this is this was like a big thing for you, you know, uh, right out of college, right? Because you went to school for business. Yeah. And then we you should have like, talked about this on your podcast. Yeah, but you know we're doing it for this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the ro for the really really right. rough star of this yeah. podcast. For my podcast. Yeah. My audience. I. It's yeah. like. It's okay. Four I'll, years deep, my audience is finally learning about me. Yeah, it's okay. That's what I'm here for. You know, not yeah. funny, but um, you're the you're the host now. I'm the ho I took over. Yeah, I'm yeah. carrying this podcast now. You're it's the a, boy. Yeah, dude. This is how we do it in Puerto Rico, dude. Yeah. I fucking coup de trois over here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that must have been fucking big for you. Right out of college, you get yeah. a, a job with Goldman Sachs. Uh -huh. So, you applied for this, right? No. You didn't apply for this? No, they offered it to me. Wow. So, even that was like a big deal, right? That must yeah, have been a really cool. good feeling. Yeah. And no, I mean, inter I, yeah, I no interview, at nothing at all? sort of an interview they uh so i had interned with them at some point in college and they liked me as an intern and then uh but i didn't i, I just it was the same thing it was just fucking boring and so mm -hmm. i didn't want to apply there but then um my manager from my internship called me and i was working at some restaurant at the time and he was like hey we want to you know we need someone like we want to bring you in full time yeah and i was like fuck it like yeah. i'll be making so much the big more guns. money than i'm making right now mm -hmm. so i'll go work there uh, for like five, ten years, but it didn't last. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah, they didn't last. Yeah. Were you under a contract, or they don't do contracts? It was no, just, it was just. You know, it's a goal you had. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I was just thought like I'll, I'll work there for like five to ten years, mm -hmm. like buy a house, save money, buy a house, like you know, do this shit on the side. Yeah. Uh, but no, it 
just it, I was like, I, if I stay here any longer, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Like mm-hmm. I have to, you know, do something else. And so, yeah, I was gonna ask you about like, cause uh, you know, you're creative. You sure. you you lean into the creative spectrum more. I would artistic. assume from what I know about you, uh-huh. more than you lean into the uh, f- financial yeah. side of things. You know, yeah. Like I feel like you enjoy doing this more than even though you're not making money, more than doing that. That you were making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So that's not always. You know, it, it always kills the uh, that that the soul of the creative. Yeah. And because uh, I, I go through that sometimes. I'm like, uh-huh. what am I like? I just want to do this, you know? Yeah. And then I get to it and I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Uh, but wow, man, I didn't know that about you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I never told you. Oh, you I don't have to apologize. To don't be fucking gay. God. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Well, it is gay month. <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. Well, I didn't. <laughs> it's not a secret you were hiding from me. Yeah. You know, it's just something that I just learned about, you know, yeah. which is. It's pretty cool, man. That's a. Uh, I'm gonna say that's not it. I'm gonna assume that's not an easy uh, decision to make because you were making a lot of money. Uh-huh. And then you were like, "I'm just gonna get another job that I might not make as much money and do a podcast and talk about movies." Yeah, that nobody cares about. Yep, <laughs> it's a good system. Yeah. Well, let's hear about. Let's hear a little bit about you, Kevin. What's yeah. The, what do you want to know about me, man? Well, uh, what. Well, uh, You came here in 2014, mm-hmm. to Michigan, right? Yeah, to Michigan. Yeah, did you? Was it like? Were you happy to come here? Yeah, I was happy to be out of Puerto Rico. Yeah, what's yeah. it like in Puerto Rico? Uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty but nice. not when you're like that little and you want to do something. I just wanted to get out of there. Like I didn't yeah. see, I I really didn't see myself just being in Puerto Rico as a 26 year old. Sure. I don't know. I didn't, you know, like when you like think you're like, oh, you know, when I'm 26, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to have like little, like, like an imagine, like a little, uh, I don't know, future sure. pictures yeah. <laughs> of like seeing myself doing something. I think like if I had stayed in Puerto Rico, I would have been a, music- a musician. Really? Yeah. I was you playing play the music? saxophone. I was playing the saxophone when I was there. Oh, shit. And I wanted to go like the, uh, the Puerto Rican college for musicians. Uh-huh. And, uh, That's what I, I I wanted to do if I had stayed there. Then I moved yeah, here. So didn't really, didn't really, uh, didn't even think about I have to learn English until like a week before I was going into school. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't didn't think about it at all. You were in high school. I was in high school. Yeah, I was in tenth grade. Tenth grade. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, it was that week of going to school and. I was fucking terrified, dude. Like, have you ever been so nervous that you hold your farts for a whole day? Maybe. That's how I was, dude. Okay. I messed up my stomach, dude. Yeah, I just wanted to fart from being so nervous, dude. Damn. And then, you know, like, the I don't know the language. Different than American. And, <laughs> and then the, t- the, t- the teachers are just like, all right, stand up, introduce yourself. And I was just like, da 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 you know my name my name and then this and that yo soy kevin yeah well in english and oh. um the kids <laughs> will, you you didn't and i will have such a you know a thicker accent than i have now and uh the the i will hear like students just giggling yeah. and i was like oh yeah they're definitely they're definitely laughing at my thick accent Damn. <laughs> yeah but hey man that's the beginning of uh you know I'm sorry you weren't welcomed i don't know it's fine dude It's completely fine. If I was in your class, I wouldn't have laughed at you. So. Yeah. See, so you're, you're not fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, did that. Hated high school. Nice. Didn't really like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like high school would have been uh, way more fun if I if I was in Puerto Rico. Actually, I, I would go back to Puerto Rico like almost every summer. Really? And one summer, um, it was when I was going to, when I was going into 12th grade and my My friends were already in 12th grade in Puerto Rico. School has started a month earlier over there. Yeah. And uh, I asked one of my friends for their uniform because they wear uniforms at, at, at the school. At the, even at the, at the public schools, they wear uniforms. Uh-huh. And I asked for uh, one of their uniform and I just dressed up with their uniform and I went to the school 
and the whole day i just hung out at the basketball court and waited for them to uh nice. <laughs> to leave for lunch so then we can go out for lunch but in puerto rico they do this thing that like the seniors they just walk around yeah and they see like uh the freshmen and then they will make them dance they uh they they fucking like hazing like, hazing yeah that's the word yeah they hasten so they 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 throw like water balloons at them and uh they uh they also like get the um the shaving cream the barbasol and yeah. they spray you with that, dude. Damn. Yeah, and they do that while they they also like they play instruments like the music like the uh, the musicians bring like their trumpets, trombones, yeah, and like um, uh, what do you call the uh, the the one that you uh, tambourine. the tambourine? The, yeah, the tambourine. And they play really cool music, man. And they make you dance, and they throw your water balloons. They you know they spray you with uh, barbasol, shaving cream. Damn. And the whole time I was just the whole day it was just me trying to avoid those people. Like some of them, some of them that knew me because I went to middle school with them. Yeah. But uh, I would be yeah just walking around pretending that I you know just carrying myself as you have as, as if I was also a senior, which I was. But you know they were like I'd never seen this guy at this yeah, school sure. before, so this guy must be new. Uh, I didn't get uh, I didn't get haste, so nice. I successfully yeah, went so through the day without getting haste. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, that was a that was a nice that was a nice day. Yeah, going to Puerto Rican school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I would have gone to Puerto Rican school one time. Yeah, I feel like everybody should go just you know just so they know sure. what it's like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How was your school experience, man? uh i mean it was like fine like i didn't like get bullied i didn't really have any friends but i was sort of you know i, I uh, uh i ha I had the stuff that i liked and so i was kind of mm -hmm. content with that liam um, wasn't with you no liam uh he i don't know we weren't really friends in high school like okay we, we he went to the same other. high school we went to the same high okay. school um because liam is also called Ian, right no <laughs> I don't know what he is, like Irish or something. Okay. No, he's, he's Irish. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I liked him. I didn't have a problem with him, but we just, we weren't friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, I just hung out with myself. I would just watch movies like during class or free periods. And then uh, we'd go home, build Legos and shit. Work For real? Out. You were building Legos? I'm a, I was a big Lego guy. Like uh, up until... Do you still have them? still have them all nice dude yeah i never get into legos really never 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 Did i feel you? like they were so expensive for my family to uh buy. <laughs> um i saw the uh the seinfeld set yeah i, I wanted see, to get that, that dude just uh -huh. like for just to have it in my room yeah a lot of the ones that they're making now are like you, you know like when we were kids it was all like star wars or like mm -hmm. you know lord of the rings or whatever but now they're making like James Bond Legos and Seinfeld and Friends and like they have like specialty Lego sets, but they're so much like you think they're expensive then like they're so much more expensive now. So yeah, it's like I'm this Lego do they have a stock market? Probably, are they are they in the yeah. stock market? They're probably publicly <laughs> traded. Maybe you should work for them. Maybe you Lego. should be a financial analyst for Lego. Lego yeah. yeah, maybe Guys, we're hemorrhaging money on yellow bricks. Yeah, there will be more passion there. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, do you have the Seinfeld set? No. No. Damn, man. You should get that one. I should. I you should mean, get that one and put you, it here, like, in the middle of the... That would be kind of uh, cool. That would be... Do you yeah. want to get that for me? Yeah, I'll get it yeah. when I have more money and, right. uh, yeah, as a birthday gift. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Have you have you traveled? Yeah, I've traveled. Yeah. What places have you been to? Been all over. Like, outside the country? Like, outside of the United States? Uh, I went to... I uh, went to Israel. I've been to... Uh, I've been to France... Um, I've been to Italy. I think those are all the places outside of, well, I've been to Mexico, but I don't know if that counts. Mm -hmm. Um, but those are all the places outside. Yeah. Which one do you like, uh, the most? I like Italy. It was mm -hmm. cool. I mean, what, it was super what, hot. Where in Italy do you go to? Uh, Rome, uh, Florence, a few places. I don't remember. Yeah. All of them. How old were you when you went to Italy? Uh, I think like freshman in college. Okay. So or maybe before that. Was uh, it for school or did you just... No, I went with the church. We we did like Rome and then we did Israel. Okay. And so uh, like to go to all like the holy places and mm. all that. So it was it was pretty cool to like yeah, go, go to, to all the, the holy places. places and yeah, see all the Jesus stuff. And then, nice. But yeah. This is another thing that I didn't know about you. You you go to church. Yeah. You are, you follow. Yeah. The religion. Yeah. I feel like I've told you that Catholicism. Before. 
Catholicism. I didn't know that until I <laughs> we got into the uh, into the elevator with yeah. your girlfriend and I had to make a awkward small talk. Yeah. And I asked you, "What are you guys? Uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Are you guys gonna get dinner?" You're like, "We're going to church." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, all right." Yeah. I was like, "Wow, I didn't know." Yeah. You were that pious. Well, I mean, it was like something we had to go to, like. Mm -hmm for our marriage like we oh. weren't just going to mass like we okay. were like going to like but do you go to mass every sunday yeah i go every sunday mm, so you eat the the body of christ i do drink the wine now chaldean church doesn't do wine really? i don't know if i don't know if it's like a COVID thing or just like we don't do it but uh yeah i, I don't really drink the wine yeah the body of christ is is very delicious i remember the first time i had it and really? the other times yeah, i liked that the taste of it Yeah, yeah I don't know if it was because it was too early in the morning and I hadn't eaten anything sure. that was like, well, <laughs> this is good. Yeah. But I always wanted to have more. Yeah. And <clears throat> I Maybe it's just Jesus, <clears throat> like, you know, making you feel better about it. And it's like, oh, yeah. this is so yeah, delicious. It works yeah. That way, uh, when I was, uh, <clears throat> when I went to, uh, when I took, uh, what is it, uh, catechism classes, Yeah. I would go to the church and the church is like in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. <clears throat> And uh, sometimes we would meet in the back, like where the, um, what do you call the, uh, the priest? We would, like the green room for the, uh, the, green, room. <laughs> the yeah. green room for the priest. Uh -huh. uh, and I remember that I used to like look for the wafers, the bag. Yeah. Or, I never what? found it, but I would like yeah. sneak around trying to look for that. Up. They don't want yeah. To, yeah. And then I asked my grandmother, what would happen if I would like save the body of christ with uh -huh. me and then eat it later and she told me a story about this guy that did that same thing uh -huh. and he put it like in his like like his uh pocket pocket shirt yeah um and then he just like that he started like that part of his body started bleeding and i believed it you know because i was like very little and i was like all right i'm not i'm not gonna do that yeah. <laughs> i'll eat it at the church yeah and Oh yeah, and then now I, if you go to Amazon, they they sell it. Really? They sell back. I wouldn't it. be surprised. Yeah, that's probably where the <laughs> we should get from. one and like have it here and like just like snack. <laughs> should do that. Uh, but yeah, I did the whole. I, I you know Puerto Ricans are most Puerto Ricans are Catholics. Sure. I think so. I did the whole catechism. Yeah. Uh, communion. Communion. Yeah, I will have to learn the uh, Our Father, the whole thing. Sure. Uh, So we have that thing in common. We do. Are you still, do you still? I, I don't go to church. No. Uh, I pray every now and then. Okay. But yeah, I don't go to church. Yeah. Do you pray? Do you a prayer? I do. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I want to more. Cause mm -hmm. like, I feel like I should, but I just, I forget a lot or I just like, you know, I, I just don't think about it. And, uh, Yeah, he's thinking about the podcast. Just thinking about podcasts all yeah. day, man. What movie like, you're gonna really, talk about? What am I gonna do for the podcast? Yeah. What big, big time comedians yeah. can I get on my podcast? Yeah, how can you get like, viewers? Jesus, please help me. Find yeah, <laughs> I think you need to pray yeah. on the podcast. I probably should. Do yeah, pray right now. You should. No, we can do it later. Yeah, we'll uh, at the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you still cool. believe in God? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe in God. That's cool. I, I jump from being agnostic to uh, believing in God sometimes. Sure. Nah, wouldn't consider myself a full atheist. Okay. Yeah, there will be time that there was there was a few times during my life that I will be really confident about being an atheist. Sure. And I'd be like, I don't know shit. Yeah. What do I, you know? Yeah. That's what's always bothered me about like modern day atheists is like they try and justify Like this, I don't know where the fuck this podcast is going, but whenever like they try and justify, like there's no God because of science, but it's like, if you look at like the patterns, like within like the universe of science, it's like, this shit is way too complex that like, it's just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at like numerical pat, I don't know any of this. This is just stuff that like I've seen on Joe Rogan or shit, whatever, mm -hmm. or like online. Um, but you know, It just, there, there seems to be too many coincidences of like, you know, uh, uh, numerology and like uh, the, the unit, like space. And it's, to me, it just seems like everything is way too complicated to just have been a coincidence or a big bang or like just happen out of nowhere, like on an accident. Like it, everything is like too intricate to just be, you know, happen out of nowhere. Yeah, I believe in the Big Bang. Yeah, I, I I think it makes sense to me. Yeah, how everything was created. 
the autumns, the whole thing. That's the thing. Like, I also believe in that, in evolution, but I also believe in... I believe in the, evolution, but I just think that everything is too intricate mm-hmm. to just be, like, accidental. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You don't about know. that okay yeah what do you I, no i mean i don't i don't know anything about it okay. you know i just think that it really started that way with the bang bang and then uh the, and then you know years after that a lot of years after that we're here all right uh in this studio yeah yeah but i also i don't know i guess i like there's a side of religion that is very comforting sure and i like that like the people that believe in God, they walk with more confidence than the people that don't. Mm-hmm. Cause like once you have like God with you, you there's you know there's there's a swagger that comes with that. You're like I got somebody watching over me. Sure. Yeah. Instead of the people that don't. Yeah. So. That's why the the, the Jews and the Muslims are so confident in their uh, attacking of each other. Yeah, I think I don't. Cause they both think that God's got their back. Yeah, that's why they don't. It's endless. <laughs> so sorry that we got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brother. A little do they know. Do they He's know. got neither of their backs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just stories, man. Sure. You know, just stories. Like yeah. we're so dumb that we are. We believe Doing any a story, any story that we will like, we're like, no, 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 no. I like that story. Yeah. And I'm going to believe that no matter what. Sure. And I feel like that's is the same thing with any country that is under a uh, conflict. It's just not letting go of that story. Yeah. Uh, not explaining. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, I just, I feel like that's what it is, man. Yeah, I uh, I really gotta like go into more details when I talk about things. But no, yeah, no I, I get have... what you're saying. It's like tribalism. It's like uh-huh. everyone, like people. It's uh, you know, they they all think because we all believe this same thing in common, like we're the ones who's correct. And yeah, like mm-hmm. yeah, that's that makes. Sense. It's the same thing with comedy, you know. Sure. Yeah. You know, some people believe that comedy should you should say retarded and all the words that you shouldn't say that people say you shouldn't say. Sure. And there's other people that think comedy is not saying those words and you know and yeah. not being funny. Does does woke comedy bother you, Kevin? Uh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. It doesn't bother me until the until somebody tells me what to do with my comedy. Yeah, that's fair. And then that's when it bothers me. Uh, I don't go see it. Yeah. You know, there's some types of comedy that I, I don't know if I consider them woke, but I like them. They're like lyrical, lyrical comedy. They're not like the same comedy as Dave Attell. Yeah. Or Mark Norman or Sam Morell. Sure. But it's more, um, they, they talk more and then yeah. every now and then there's a few, there's a few laughs. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Sir, someone texted me. Oh, it's okay. Man. You, you can keep talking. About yeah. It. I'm listening. It's a little, I'm going to text him. All right. <laughs> uh, I, uh, we really started talking about the well and then I, I, I gave you everything I had in like one minute. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I mean, you said beforehand, you didn't want to talk about it. I did tell you, you know, yeah. So. You're still going to put this out, right? Of course I'm going to put this out. You don't give Do a shit. Do you not want me to? You don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. It's your podcast. Yeah. You don't give a shit. <laughs> what, what should I give a shit about? I don't know. It's not, I wouldn't say that is. This isn't high, high Q podcasting? Probably, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. What do you consider to be high Q podcasting? I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm probably going to think the same thing once I look at my, my podcast, once I watch them. Yeah. This is just one of those good enough episodes where it's like, <laughs> it's good enough. Let's just put it out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, is do you listen to this podcast, Kevin? Be what, honest. What podcast? This one that you're on. This right one, now. yeah. I li- I listen to the ones that I've been on. Oh, I listen yeah. to the one with uh, the this, the rapper. Oh, Yo Cloud. Uh, yeah, that was a different other. podcast. Yeah, and yeah, I think so. Like even my ep- even the episodes that I'm that I'm on, I don't listen to them fully. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't enjoy watching myself. Why don't you enjoy watching? I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the way I sound when I listen to myself. Is your accent? My voice. Okay. <laughs> the whole thing. I'm not the only one. This is like a whole yeah, thing. Like people just... have this. You yeah, don't I feel know. that way? No, I. I don't feel that way anymore. I mean, I did at a certain point, probably, but. And you got through it by watching yourself, by listening to yourself a lot. Yeah, I mean. The, 
there's like probably hundreds of hours of me mm -hmm. and video at this point uh, online. Um, so I've just sort of gotten used to it. And I, I sort of figure like this, that's what comes with, you know, the life that I want to have. So, you know, I, I just got to do it. Like, just got to do it. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm listening to you, dude. Why are you being so gay, man? <laughs> Why am I being gay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why am I? You're the one staring intently into my eyes as I'm telling you my, yeah. my deepest opinion. I guess people get uncomfortable when, like, when you're really listening to them. Have yeah, you, I don't have, like have you ever had somebody to really, really, really no. listen to you? No. And they're listening to like you them, and yeah. they're... Like they give you their whole attention, no, no texting, no like looking over there, not thinking about something else. You can like, no, no have you ever that really like honestly? You never had that before. No, I mean I probably have. Um, probably I, mean, I had I, that I, once, yeah. and with the girl. <laughs> yeah, in the middle, in the middle of it, I, I got uncomfortable. Fine. I was like, oh shit! I had her like, she's giving me the whole like her whole attention like, and. And then I read that in a book and like how people get nervous when they're like, people don't listen anymore, like fully listen anymore yeah, and pay attention and people get uncomfortable. Yeah. I thought it was only like a, like a me thing. And then I was like, oh no, I feel like then I read that and I was like, oh, it's other people too. Yeah. I guess, um, I've never thought of that before. If someone's ever fully listened to me. Um, yeah. Damn. That's what happened when you do a podcast with me, man. Yeah, it's not going to be funny, but we're going to get we're gonna get to some places. It's a brave. It's not a fun episode. It's a brave episode. It's a brave episode. Yeah. This is me. This is my brand, dude. Yeah. It's brave. Damn. No yeah. wonder nobody fucking likes your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, no. People like you more than me. Um, I don't know. I do. All right. Well. Yeah. I like you more than I like me. That's not true. <laughs> How about that? That should have well, been the case. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna go somewhere with that. With what? With what we were just talking about. Oh, about someone paying fully attention to you. Yeah. Uh, oh no! Like yeah, this is what we. No, this is why this is what happens when I when I come on on your podcast. Yeah. We'll you know, you the intention is to be funny, and then yeah. I just ask you questions. Yeah, you ruin it. That are not funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then the answers are not funny. Yeah. And then I just keep digging a hole mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I am just getting to topics that I don't know anything about. It's okay. You know, you start talking about then and then I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's what I like to do. That's my thing. You That's know? your thing. I'm like, yeah. yeah. What are you? Yeah. Yeah. You ever heard about this thing? Yeah. No. When we, when yeah, we... me neither. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I was hoping you would know something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we have, uh, this semi-famous comedian on the podcast in a couple of weeks. You better do that to him too. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna hate it. Yeah, you're, gonna... you're not paying fully attention. Come on. <laughs> I did, dude. Uh, my yeah. attention span is not that. Because you're uncomfortable. Yeah, I was uncomfortable. You're thinking about this big interview that we're gonna do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it, but we have a we have a big interview coming. Up. So far, you know, because you know, a lot of it. I don't. I, I found that I've been finding out that a lot of podcasting is uh, having somebody booked. And then have to then <laughs> cancel. He's one hundred percent going to cancel. <laughs> yeah, canceling you like, <laughs> like an hour before. Yeah. We, like we already set up. You know, yep. like the the cameras are on, the microphones are on. Sure. We like tested the uh, the the volumes and everything. We're waiting on the couch. He's gonna be like, he's not even gonna say anything. No, he's not even gonna message. He's just gonna be like, no. you're gonna text him like. A day later, like, hey, you know, hope everything's okay. He's gonna be like, oh, forget about you know who yeah. are you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, but that'd be a fun fun story to mm -hmm. do on the podcast, you know, that we almost had this like, you know, semi popular podcast or comedian on the podcast and he just no showed on us. Yeah. We got close. Yeah. Icarus. Icarus. We too, we flew too close to the sun close with to this the sun. guest. Yeah. Even though I mean I don't know. He you know. No, I don't know, brother. <laughs> i don't know i don't I know because i don't either. know i don't know yeah i that's, don't know yeah we are we're getting there man yeah we're getting there i mean <laughs> no i am excited for that podcast uh um because this comedian is a good guy and uh yeah i don't know i don't know anything about him you don't know anything about him mm -mm. 
I think I watched some of the special. Okay. And then I stopped watching it. Okay. Not because I didn't like it, but just because I do that with everything. Yeah. That's you funny. start watching it and then I'm like, boop. You, you go can do tell something him else. that when he's on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I started watching his special. Yeah. I, from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. And then I just, you Probably know, good. yeah, I went to do something else, my, my brother. Yeah. What are you going to ask him? You're going to ask him if he can get on the podcast. <laughs> he's like best friends with I, I, that I know. Yeah, <laughs> that I know. What's your goal for this buck? Uh, for the uh, for I this don't know. when he's uh, here? When he's here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know because I don't think I'm a good interviewer, so I can't like ask him like good questions. Mm -hmm. Um, but I hope it's just like a good enough time, um, and that he shares it on his social media and that and that like yeah, you know, I'm gonna say he's not going to. to <laughs> he might i've seen him share like other podcasts he's really made. i mean like that'll be that'll be nice um uh, i feel like we really we gotta get prepared and ask him some good do. questions yeah. we gotta do work instead of like what we just did today you know instead yeah. of coming here and be like i guess my goal is like to, to become friends with him and to get just hang out anytime he's in <laughs> yeah you're just open for him <laughs> do three minutes or five minutes yeah <laughs> No, that's not true. If he's watching this, which he, he probably isn't watching yeah, this he's episode. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Nobody's not, watching this. <laughs> no. Yeah. Watch this be like the one episode <laughs> yeah, that like yeah. hits a yeah. million views. Yeah, like, have you seen how bad this is? Look at yeah. this. This is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not easy. I don't know, man. You turn you turn a camera on me and I, yeah. I'm not the same person, you know. It's something that I have to practice. Sure. Doing that. Yeah. And it's something that I want to get good at, but I have to just be okay with the fact that I'm going to suck for at the beginning. I don't think you suck though. I think you're just getting in your head. I think I think I do. I mean, I feel like this podcast could have been better if we had just prepared. This podcast could have been better. Yeah. That's true. But I'm saying like I've been doing podcasts with you for like 3 years now and like you know, I don't like I think from the first one like mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like a bad podcast mm. yeah i don't yeah though i have fun with those yeah that's what that was fun when we didn't have a movie to talk about yeah that was fun are you saying like i was the the i'm not saying i'm just saying i don't know man, I, 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 at least for me yeah the movie thing didn't you like movies? They didn't do it for me. You wanted to be a cinematographer when you. Were I wanted to, but like then, I, then I stuff came a fuck about movies. You yeah, know? that's fair. Like I, I don't know like how you can talk about a movie for an hour. Well, we wouldn't. We just it, use it. As yeah. Like a, <laughs> as a topic. So, that was Kevin. If I titled this video like "Exclusive Interview with Kevin Rodriguez," nobody's gonna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. If I'm, I titled this video. The Whale is a movie about a fat gay guy. Nobody's going to watch it. It's a few people are going to watch it. People are going to click on it, and then they're going to be like, this is oh, sure, they just did 20 seconds about the whale. Yeah. <laughs> they're talking true. about how bad they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're talking about religion. Yeah, they're talking about religion with no, no really uh, uh, substantial no opinion. Yeah. yeah, They're just saying stuff, and then they're yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel that way about... They were talking about a, a successful comedian, but mm -hmm. they didn't even say his name. They didn't name. even say his name, yeah. It's gonna... It's gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna co-host this podcast, not as... I'll have... What? I'm gonna help you co-host this podcast. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the one with him? Yeah, that one. Or and just the th podcast. And this, this one, too. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I guess I just invited myself to co-host. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been inviting you to co-host. <laughs> oh, uh you just have more important stuff to do like hosting at mark ridley's yeah and uh yeah going there to bomb yeah uh yeah i will i will i will do that i'm gonna do that so i can practice okay that's my fine. podcasting skills yeah yeah i mean you know i'm almost at the point where i'm making money off the podcast so you came in at the right time that's yeah i know yeah. <laughs> i don't want to come in exactly yeah are you like really getting there how many uh, years has it been on the work? Um, three years. Three years. I mean, we wow. started in twenty one, so yeah, three years. Okay. Uh, so it's just is it all sub subscribers plus viewers? Yeah, subscribers plus watch hours. So um, we have a thousand subscribers, which is the number we need. Four thousand watch hours, and I think right now, 
uh, we're like close to 1400 watch hours. So I need like whatever 4,000 divided by 1400 is, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of watch hours. So like, I'm almost halfway to the number of watch hours, but it just, it's, you know, uh, it's hard to get people to like watch the podcast for a long time. Yeah. If it helps, if it makes you feel any better, sometimes I just, I don't watch it. I don't listen to it. Yeah. I just, uh, do you just leave it on? I just click on it yeah. and leave it like draw my phone against the wall. And then I just leave it there playing. That's the podcast. perfectly fine. That's my, <laughs> that's how I support you. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Also, I feel like there's a lot of other people that do the same thing. They just do a podcast about movies. There is a lot of people who do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, it's just like a, I mean, the same thing with like. Why any, are you just attacking the concept other, of doing a podcast, a <laughs> movie a podcast? Yeah. This is, I'm really passionate about. Yeah. Hating, about hating You're really passionate movie, about yeah. how I was <laughs> doing my podcast wrong. Uh, no, brother. I admire what you do. Thank you. I yeah. admire what you do. Thanks, man. Yeah. I really do. I really do. You, you, um, I don't know. I like what you've done. I like, I like how the know. podcast has has grown. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to work with you, man. Yeah, I'm excited too. I've been trying to get this done for you. I've been trying to get this deal done for years. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this guy's gonna make it. I gotta sign him while he's young. Yeah, um, we're like Jackie Robinson. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie Robinson, yeah. Puerto Rican baseball player. Ah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, what do you do last week? <clears throat> last week mm -hmm. uh like the entire week or just yeah man, anything anything fun anything sad anything i don't really remember uh i don't know uh, did a few open mics did a few podcasts uh hung out with my fiance hung out with my family uh I moved into an apartment that was kind of cool um, you moved into a you moved out of your parents' house? I did. Nice, dude. Yeah. I didn't know that. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. Dude, fucking You're learning so much about me. Where you episode. uh do you want to say where you live or you no? no? Okay. Yeah. All right. It's so like you got a, a nice apartment? Nice apartment. You proud yeah. of it? Yeah. Pretty proud of it. Nice, dude. Sure. So you uh, are you living with your fiance now? No, not yet. She's still living at home. So you're living by yourself? I'm living by myself. Damn, dude, that yeah. must feel really nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice, dude. You got That's, your whole TV and I don't your... have anything. Really? Yeah. Damn. What do you have? Just a bit? I have a bad couch and like a, ta a task. Okay, so. so today when you live here, you go in there? Uh, no, I'll probably go to my parents' house. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't have food or anything there. So, mm -hmm. uh, or like a ton of clothes. Yeah. that's. I remember the first time I moved into my apartment. I wasn't living by myself, but it was it was a nice feeling. It's yeah. always a nice feeling. So I'm pretty sure that feeling is way more nice when it's by yourself, when you're living by yourself. Yeah, it's cool. Like it's... It's weird because I've never, like, I always lived at home with my parents. I lived in, like, a dorm in college, but I lived with, like, four other, or three other guys. So it was, uh, you know, we, we all kind of kept to ourselves, but it was also, like, fucking, I have other people, like, in here. Um, but, yeah, this is the first time I'm, like, alone somewhere, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. Like, it, I don't know. Yeah. Why are you going to your parents? Are you scared to uh, sleep uh, by yourself? No, I just, I don't have a blanket. Oh, yeah, a blanket. <laughs> so sleep in the really? couch at my parents' house. <laughs> Go uh, to a thrift store, man, and get a blanket. I'm not going to buy a thrift store blanket. I'll just wash it, man. It's no, probably just, better than the other ones. I'll grab, I, no, I have a blanket at home. I just didn't bring it with me when I moved in. Oh, then you got to capitalize on this alone time before you move in That's with true. your fiance. If it was me, I'll be there even without... I'll be living like a monk. Yeah, well, that's no what I did last no night, but I, I didn't have... I, yeah, I don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. I don't have a blanket. That's a perfect time. I don't have any clean clothes. Everything there is uh, all yeah, just like sweaty time. clothes. That's peak. That's peak man life. Yeah, it's peak man life right there, dude. Oh, you be meditating. No, I'm it's, just thinking I, I left my gym bag there, but I'm going to my parents' house, so I won't be able to go to the gym tomorrow morning. Yeah, well, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. You would have known that if I hadn't asked you that. Yeah, if I hadn't true. asked you, what do you do last yeah. week? Yeah. Thank that's, you for bringing yeah. that up because I yeah. need my gym bag. I, uh, I did. I went to a concert on Sunday. I went to see the Teskey Brothers. The you ever Teskey heard of Brothers? them? No. They're pretty good, man. That was my first time seeing them live. Yeah. I'm not a, not a, not that I'm not a big fan. I just, it's just a band that comes up on my, uh, like sometimes when I play music on a uh, playlist and all that. Yeah. And they play like really soulful, like soulful blues. Really? They, okay. Yeah, and they're really they're really good. Uh, yeah, I'll check them. And uh, are they old? 
No, they're not all. They're from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, okay. No. And uh, they have a whole band, man. They got uh, their brothers. They play the guitar and they got a saxophonist, a trump, a trumpist. Uh, and uh, is that what a trumpet? I think is called? I, I remember one time I was in New and I was saying, I was, I was talking to somebody. And I was like, "What are you, a trumpet here?" Trumpet Yeah, I think you said a trumpet player or whatever. Trumpets, maybe I don't know what's the name. Yeah. They have a drummer and then they have a you know a pianist. The whole thing. It's a good band. Uh, took mushrooms with my girl. Uh, she had a good time. I was freaking out for like two hours. Yeah. On mushrooms. <laughs> uh, so I was just sitting there. And I was like, just go have fun, you know. And where she was, was the concert? Uh, the Fillmore. Okay. Yeah. There was this lady. She was talking to us. And just like the voices like came in and came out. Like you would hear like there were like a, somebody laughing. Yeah. I don't know where. And you would hear like. <laughs> yeah. Just it was like it was pretty cool, man. Just hearing. It was like a little bit. Um, uh, I don't know if eerie is the right. It sounded like when you're in a scary movie and you hear like somebody laughing far away yeah, like sure. that. <laughs> well, you know, like you're like everybody's having a good time. So you're not that scared. You're just like, damn, this is creepy as fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it wasn't like probably until like an hour before the concert was about to end that I like came out of my freak out Damn. and I <laughs> started dancing and so having a good time. Did you enjoy the concert? I enjoyed the concert. Like while I was freaking out, okay. I was like doing this and playing, you know, <laughs> playing the air bongos. dancing a little, yeah, playing yeah. the air bongos and dancing a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's what happens when you do mushrooms. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. I was freaking out, dude. I was thinking about like my car really getting broken into. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but whatever, you know. That's what you get when you do mushrooms. Yeah. That's sort of on you. Mm -hmm. That is sort of on me. Yeah. I did it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm not doing mushrooms again in a long time. Uh -huh. You ever done mushrooms? No. No. Are you, would you want to? Not really. Really? No. Well, have you done, are you, you're not. I don't. I haven't even seen you drink him. No, don't no. drink. Don't drink at all. I mean, I ha like I've had alcohol before. Yeah, most of the time you had alcohol. Yeah, most of the time you had alcohol. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you just I, don't I feel don't like know. the need. You don't, like no. No, I don't know. I never really wanted to. Yeah, never really. Nothing. Like, nothing. Like never been curious about. No, because I, I never really wanted. I didn't ever really cared about like. Yeah, I mean, you probably like know by now. Like I'm. I'm fairly bold like i never really needed anything to like get me to the point where like to be mm -hmm. out of my shell if that makes sense yeah um and uh i don't know like friends would try and pressure me and stuff but i was just sort of like ah, and, and, you know you guys are fucking gay yeah uh, they were being gay they're being gay <laughs> they're fucking putting their lips on something that other guys have put their lips on it's yeah fucking gay as shit that is gay yeah i never thought about it that way yeah yeah i thought about it as fun but yeah sure. <laughs> i guess those are synonyms you know yeah. gay and fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i don't care i mean i like i don't I, you know <clears throat> i don't really i'm not like hard pressed like oh like you shouldn't like mm -hmm. smoke or drink or whatever i just don't want to do it that's interesting man you never been yeah cool man why is that interesting I don't know. You know, I feel like most people try those things, and but you were like, yeah, straight edge, straight edge. Drink a lot of coffee. I don't know if that counts. Well, it's a drug, but it's yeah, <laughs> it's the one everybody does. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> nice man. Well, yeah. good for you, dude. Good for you. Good for you too. Yeah. You you stopped drinking for a while. I stopped drinking. Yeah, six hundred and thirty days, and yeah. then I was like, all right, I'm ready to go. Yeah. yeah and the times i've had i've drank it's like i'm like i don't know you know but because i've been drinking i've been drinking like all barons and two hearted and they put too much shit in those beers yeah. and then i had i had a pbr and i was like this is this is what i like just yeah. a regular beer mm -hmm. with no you know all barons and two hard they put flowers there they put bee yeah. pollen and yeah. a lot of things just to make it like an artesian yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. beer and it's like beer. you're putting too much in here man just give me a regular beer with alcohol and water you know yeah that's what i need that's been fun yeah have you have you drank since you you broke your streak or no yeah yeah oh. yeah that, okay cool yeah do you like it again or no sometimes sometimes yeah as I, I guess because my tolerance is so low that it feels like Oh shit! Now I gotta deal with this, you know. Yeah. Like I feel it. Okay. Instead of just feeling like a mild buzz. Yeah. 
but it's whatever. You know, I really, I feel, ten, I feel tempted to do it before I go on stage, but told myself to not do it. Just yeah. like do it after. That's the reward. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good mentality. Mm-hmm. I also always looked at it as like, it's like a lot of money and a lot of calories. Yeah. I, yeah. It is a lot of money, a lot of cal- calories. So I, too. I never really wanted to <laughs> yeah. partake in something that I gained calories and uh, lost money on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm probably going to stop again. Yeah, I mean, you but, don't have to. You, you can keep going. No, I don't. I don't want you to think like I'm pressuring you. I know you're not pressuring me. Okay, cool. I just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> gotta start over again. Yeah, that's fine. But, yeah. Hey, do you watch your calories? No. Do you like care I about like? I do I, care about it, but I don't. I eat a lot. Sure, that's fair. Yeah, I eat a lot of sweet stuff. Yeah. But I try to the sweet stuff that I eat. I try to make it natural. So like fruits, yogurt, honey. Mm-hmm granola good stuff yeah i mean they're still bad for you sure but uh at least they're not you know candy yeah um but yeah i'm i don't know i i would be doing way better if i watch my calories it's just too much like i just like you know i would like to like be like a fighter yeah and just deal with the hunger yeah and but i can i just like once i feel like a little bit slight of hunger i'm like yeah i need to eat something yeah I feel and that. then i just eat like be young full yeah <laughs> that, i mean that's fine now that i'm living my own i'm worried about like how close i am to like pizza shops and mm-hmm. like just how easy it is to go get a slice of pizza and like and like multiple slices and like eat just learn how to cook do you know how to cook I don't want to. Really? Yeah. That's one thing that I fell in love once I moved out of my parents' house. Yeah. Cooking? Cooking, yeah. I don't know, because I remember when I was in college, I, I like, had food in my little fridge that I could, like, cook with, but I just never did because I was, like, it just it seems like a lot of hassle to, like, crack an egg and, like, <laughs> watch it and, like, make sure it's, like, a good like temperature it's practice man i know i just don't it's feel like stand like it. up it's like podcasting i know i'd rather spend it's... that time podcasting than watching <laughs> eggs i love oh. it dude i love cooking i love cracking right, the egg come, i love chopping the onion some, some omelets <laughs> <laughs> i love uh, i love doing all that man i find it meditative sometimes yeah, that's cool do you yeah. listen to music sometimes yeah sometimes mostly podcasts but um, okay. all the times I'm like, all right, I've been listening to too many things. I'm just gonna yeah. be with my thoughts. That's cool too. But yeah, I like I like the activity of cooking. Yeah, I do I do like it. What do you, what's the best thing you make? The best thing I make, um, um, rice like white rice and like Puerto Rican <laughs> stew, like a chicken stew. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Or like some like um some beans. Okay. Like a like a bean stew or something. I don't know if you call it like that. Like habichuela, like quesadas. Pollo yeah, yeah. yeah, man. The Some best like that. thing you make, you just pour it in hot water. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. I made um, uh, shit. What was it? I just follow. Re- it's pretty. Also, it's pretty easy to follow recipes. Yeah, I mean, there's that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I made a. I have it on my phone. It was uh, it was a lemon. It was a, it was an Italian dish. Okay. And very, it's very rare when like what I cooked comes, it looks like what it looks like in the pictures. Sure. And this recipe, it looked exactly like the picture and I was yeah. really proud of myself. Maybe you just had the same plates as the guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I was like, oh shit, I'm getting, I'm getting better at cooking. Yeah, I'm proud yeah. of you. Tacos, I like making tacos yeah. too. Yeah. You're a big Anthony Bourdain fan. I am a big Anthony Bourdain fan. Yeah. Yeah. I like his writing yeah. and his show. Yeah. Uh, but uh, at some point he had to cook him. He did it for so so long that yeah. he just hated it. <laughs> That's part of it, you know. Like when you do it, when you do it professionally, it's not the same. Yeah. Do you think that's how it's gonna be when you become a big big hot shot comedian? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like Dave Chappelle. I'm gonna enjoy the shows that I don't get paid for. <laughs> yeah. Joey yeah. Diaz is also talking about that. Really? Like he enjoys when you're gonna miss doing New Way. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of comedians talk about that yeah like the the good old days are these days that now i, I don't like you know mm. for some reason they're like enjoy these days yeah those are the good those are the good days what what do you think about like all these comedians who perform in like a 
uh, what are they called? Like arenas or like big, big like stadiums. Like, is that something a dream you have or no? I'm fine with just being a club comedian. Yeah, and, same with me. And just being able to buy groceries without worrying. Yeah. Do I have enough money? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and just pay my stuff. You know, have yeah. a family, and that's it. Yeah, I saw, that. like, Andrew Schultz did a whole thing, and he was like, it was always my dream to, like, perform stand-up at mm-hmm. Madison Square Garden. I'm yeah, like, well, he's a New York guy, so yeah, I'm I know, pretty sure I'm that's, like... like that. I, like, that's not... Yeah. I, I'm I would not, like, like to like, perform at a big theater in Puerto Rico. Not a big, like, arena, but, like, a big theater. Really? That'll be... Yeah, that'll be... Yeah. That'll be nice. It's not a yeah, dream, I mean, a but it would be nice. theater is one thing, like... Yeah. But... I just like, don't like comedy in an arena. I like... Yeah, a, like the, Yeah, the biggest I want is a theater. Cause then you lose. Like I like it, how intimate a comedy yeah. club is, and I feel like a theater is the ideal place for comedy. Yeah. Cause even at a comedy club, you still like the the waiter is still talking. Yeah. To the audience, you want a beer? You want another one? Here's a check. Yeah. If you're at a theater, you gotta get out of the showroom, open the door, mm-hmm. the door closes, and then you go talk to the bartender. Like, let me get twenty butt butt lights. You know, so if you want to talk, you got to talk outside, yeah. not inside, you know. Sure. So that's when everybody is paying attention. Anybody at a comedy club, most people are just like like this, you know. Yeah, everyone's sitting you at know? a table. And then you got to like move your, it's like, uncomfortable yeah. too. So even you would think like a comedy club is the ideal place, but it's not, you yeah. know. It's really theaters. Everybody's yeah. just facing that way, facing towards the stage. Yeah. So that's the ideal place for yeah. comedians. Yeah, that's why it's kind of tough around here because like for us... Like, maybe it's just because we're still open micers, but, like, the big deal spots for everybody is, like, the club spots. Mm-hmm. But, like, nobody's doing theaters. I mean, like, sure, there's a few of people yeah, who are, like, a couple of top. veteran, like, uh, like, uh, like comedians from the scene that are yeah. have been doing it for so long that they have connections with bigger comedians. And when they come here, they do the Royal Oak Music Theater or the yeah. Fillmore. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, for the most part, like, everybody's, like, big shows are, like, at... Like Mark Ridley's or One Mike Stands, mm-hmm. or House of Comedy, or whatever. Yeah, or the Irish Bar. <laughs> Irish Bar, yeah. Yeah. For me, it's, it's yeah. right Burger Bar. It's Saturday right Burger night. Bar on a Saturday, yeah, with yeah. two other people. That's where I'm gonna shoot my special. <laughs> yeah. uh, it would be cool to like if you like, you know, when you get an audience, go, go back to the bar? place you started. Oh yeah. And then shoot a special there. Like, uh, once no, you like you've developed like your shops as a comedian. Yeah. That'll be that'll be a nice going back to where you started. That would be nice, but I don't. I, I started at New Way, and I, I, at least like in the foreseeable future, don't plan on like not going to New Way anymore. Oh really? Yeah. You're not going to. So you're not going next Monday? No, no. I'm saying like not go to New. Like I don't plan on like stopping going to New Way anytime soon. Oh okay. Like if the podcast picks up in like three years and like I'm opening for Matt Rife, mm-hmm. I'll still probably go to New Way. Unless like, <laughs> yeah. Unless I hate crimes, you gotta drop there. by and do forty-five minutes. Yeah, get like every local comedian to hate you. Yeah, it's like look at this guy; he's not even that good. He's <laughs> not. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I just it's, like New Way. It's just a nice place. Yeah, there's something about it that it's nice. I, yeah. I have a love and hate relationship yeah, with same. it. You know, I've had some really good moments there. Some yeah. Really bad moments there. I love it a lot now because I, I just go up early and like, mm-hmm. I think that's how you love new way is like, you just go up when you want to go up and then you leave. Yeah. It's kind of, it's way better than when I first started and I would be there until like one in the morning. Yeah. So those were the fun times, right? When after it started, like when everything started to up and back up. Yeah. Oh dude, we'll go outside and drink. Yeah. Get drunk yeah. and then go perform. And for some reason, you know, I would do well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and that was, that, that's, yeah. that was fun. That, I yeah, I miss was those. Fun. I miss those days. I was always like kind of shy and like didn't talk to a ton of people. Mm-hmm. But I do remember like all like the yeah, that shyness like goes away moments. like once you people see you like it's easier to talk to people. Yeah. They know you. They come up to you. Or you come up to them easily. No, no shyness. Yeah, yeah. I feel like sometimes like most people quit because of that. They're afraid of uh, doing the same material over and over. Uh-huh. It's like, if you stay just for a year, two years, mm-hmm. I feel like that's the mark where you're like, I really want to do this or not. Even yeah. three years, I feel like that's the mark. Uh, you will see that even the comedian that you're like, they're so fucking good. Wow, they kill everything they go on stage. They're doing the same material at most open mics. Yeah. And you wouldn't feel, you don't feel as bad. 
So sometimes it's just that. Sometimes it's just not quitting, you know. Yeah, that's fair. All right, should we end it there? Yeah. All right. Thanks for being my new co-host, Kevin. Mm-hmm. I'll be better. No, that was that was the best co-host interaction I've had <laughs> in the past three co-hosts. That was the all right. Well, as, as to the past co-hosts, you guys are still welcome on the podcast. <laughs> I don't yeah. have anything against any of the co-hosts. Yeah. Whenever they're here, I'm not going to be here. Yeah. It's going to be a big fight. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be it. So. Yeah. All right, man. Well, right, see well, you next time. Big peace. You need to do the gun thing.